I'm a little bit behind on this one, but if there's a team that I wouldn't be shocked wasn't a part of the new TNA in 2024, it's a butcher and a blade. I really can see these guys showing up because I'm very confident that there will be the return of Ali. And I talked in a previous upload about there's two different ways you could de- re-debut Ali. You could have her as part of the Death Dolls as Cherry Bomb and then uh, build her and Rosemary up together and reignite the feud and then re- and then bring their characters, their real characters back to life. Or you can have Ali show up as the bunny with the act of Butcher and the Blade. And they would come in and win the tag team titles almost immediately, I promise you. When TNA kicks off, when it rebrands, I don't want to see a whole lot of returns. I do want to see some, but um, I don't want to see old people return as far as they can't really go in the ring anymore, but they're, you know, used to be part of TNA. That's not really what I'm looking for. I don't mind some previous faces who have gone elsewhere really worked on their craft and they're going to come back better than they were when they left the blade known as Braxton Sutter previously would fall into that category. Now Braxton Sutter was oddly enough, one of my favorite wrestlers in his short time in TNA. At one point he was my favorite wrestler. I know that's really random, but he was a guy that I always really liked when I was really into AEW and I was enjoying it week to week. It's It was at the beginning when they wanted to establish themselves as the alternative. And you had all these people on screen who you weren't really familiar with. Some maybe weren't TV ready, but a lot of guys from the indies, girls from the indies, girls from, you know, guys and girls from smaller companies, just getting a chance to really shine on a national stage. And it was the alternative. And I enjoyed it. And the Butcher and the Blade uh, was my favorite tag team for a really long time. They were actually kind of tied with the Dark Order. And now I, could give two shits about the dark order, but that's neither here nor there. Butcher and the blade never had a lot of success, but I always thought they looked really, really good when they were out there. My favorite type of tag team is when there's two defined wrestlers. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you look at the ABC, you look at the rascals, they wrestle the same, right? Like they wrestle the same exact way as their partner. They're the same height, same weight and then we see two teams wrestle each other and they're doing and they're they're all for the exact same type of wrestler you know i love to see just more definition as far as there's one guy who may do some aerial stuff may be technical and then there's like a powerhouse you know growing up as a kid like i love the heart foundation but i didn't like the rockers so this is a team that uh, i think on in the impact world could do really, really well as far as kind of being at that top of the card and being so different than what they have right now. But if they come in with the alley um, with Ali as our manager, I think it would be one of the better parts of the show. You know, I'm not saying that these are, these are guys that you sign and it's on the level of Will Ospreay and CM Punk and, and things of that nature. But I just think this is the, really the perfect team to come in. They're so different than everybody else. They've just got used to working with in front of much larger audiences. And that that does account for something when you're wrestling on TV on a, in a smaller company like Impact because then you feel bigger when you're on the screen or when they're on the screen. They feel bigger when they're on the screen is what I'm trying to say. But the Braxton Sutter well, it's a horrible name, number one, but that character never quite hit with people. They did the wedding angle that got over, but there wasn't much they were able to do with it. And what can you do with a name like Braxton Sutter? But with the blade, Butcher and the Blade, I mean, this is, to me, the perfect type of team that they should be going for because there's no one else like them on the indies. There's no one else like them in the company. You can get all the high flyer, luchador, dive through the ropes teams you want but a team like this there's it's so different than um and everybody else and yeah in a bigger company they might fall by the wayside but in a company like impact they could do really really well 